Welcome to ETH Daily, a daily briefing on the latest in Ethereum. Zigzag reveals plans for a Layer 3 ZK rollup, Rocket Pool surpasses 200,000 staked ETH, HTC releases a Metaverse phone with native Polygon support, and Coinbase Commerce adds ETH to its payments options. All this and more from ETH Daily starts right now. Zigzag announced plans for Invisible 3, an app-specific Layer 3 ZK rollup for private transactions on StarkNet. The layer will be an add-on to the Zigzag exchange, which currently supports trades on the ZK Sync network. Trades on Zigzag are currently publicly viewable on-chain, revealing the addresses and amounts for each trade. Private transactions on Zigzag will prevent the tracing of addresses and trade amounts for both the maker and the taker. It will also allow users to hide the origin of their funds when moving to another wallet. Zigzag is a decentralized non-custodial order book exchange powered by ZK rollups. Arbitrum published a post describing its plan for creating a multidimensional fee standard. The standard will be a set of best practices for implementing a two-dimensional fee system for Layer 2 infrastructure. When users transact on Arbitrum, they are responsible for paying both the Layer 1 gas fee for call data and the Layer 2 gas fee for off-chain computation. The current infrastructure on Ethereum only has inputs for a single gas price and gas limit, hence it's only one-dimensional. To compensate, the Layer 2 gas fee has to cover fees on both Layer 1 and Layer 2. Arbitrum's node gas estimator increases the Layer 2 gas limit field to cover both dimensions. It results in a confusing user experience. Arbitrum hopes Ethereum tooling to change for a Layer 2 world. Rocket Pool, a decentralized Ethereum staking protocol, now has more than 200,000 ETH staked on the Beacon chain. There are now more than 1,283 node operators and 6,092 mini pools live on the protocol. Rocket Pool offers liquid ETH stakers roughly 4% APR on their deposits. Our ETH, Rocket Pool's liquid staking token, suffered a slight DPEG on secondary markets during the Luna collapse. It has since recovered most of its value. Unlike Lido, Rocket Pool has a max deposit pool capacity of 2,000 ETH. Funds in the deposit pool are matched with mini pools, which provide 16 ETH to create Ethereum staking validators. HTC launched a new Metaverse phone with a built-in digital asset wallet. Coined Desire22 Pro, the device comes with pre-installed applications from HTC's Metaverse arm Viverse. With Viverse apps, users can create virtual avatars and manage crypto assets on Ethereum and Polygon. The device also comes with a virtual reality headset pairing feature. Desire22 Pro is available in Taiwan, Japan, and Europe, for 399 euros. HTC is a Taiwanese-based consumer electronics company and is among the early phone makers to experiment with blockchain technology. And lastly, Coinbase Commerce, a platform that allows merchants to accept crypto payments in a peer-to-peer way, has added support for seven new tokens, including Ethereum. The Commerce platform also offers free payments from Coinbase users to commerce merchants. Coinbase is also implementing a dApp wallet in the Coinbase app, allowing users to trade using decentralized exchanges. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories from ETH Daily. Please support this podcast by subscribing anywhere you listen and leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts. Also, subscribe to our newsletter at newsletter.ether.fm. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.